guys, I just wanted to pop in and tell you a little bit about the month of June, the things that the projects we're going to paint and what we have going on. So we have a few new paintings, which I'm excited about. I hope you are too. Next week on the 5th, I am going to release the little jungle painting. Um, I did it on a little 8x10 canvas panel. Of course, you can paint it um, any way you want. You could paint it larger, of course. I've given you the traces for a number of sizes. And as you know, if you ever need a different size tracer, I can whip that up for you in no time. So just let me know if I don't give you the size that you might be looking for. Fun little painting. You can take it step by step. It's recorded, so it'll be a little easier. You could stop and start it. You may want to paint just one of the elements. You could just paint a tiger, for instance, on a little canvas um, or the whole deal. And what I do when I'm painting something like this is I would generally paint the whole canvas first in that dark green. Something something dark, whatever dark green you have. Um, sometimes I use, let's see, this is Americana Hauser green is really a nice one for that. Um, also, if you don't have all the colors, you can certainly mix. If you take a cad yellow and mix with a black, you get a nice earthy dark green too. So what I would suggest is painting the whole canvas the green first, and then with a white transfer paper or maybe chalk on the back of your tracing, transfer the elements. And I know sometimes give you a lot in the tracing, but you don't always need all those little um, bits and pieces. Hey, Kit. Hi, Karen. Thank you guys for, for jumping on. I just wanted to go into a... I thought maybe at the beginning of the month it might be nice to come in and show you what we're going to be doing. So if you would like to trace that on the main elements, and I've only given you the bigger leaves just as landmarks. All these little ones we can freehand in as we go. So tracing them on, the white transfer paper. I like the Sorrel brand. I bought some at Michael's recently that did not do anything for, for tracing as well as other people mentioned the same. I think the Hobby Lobby white transfer paper was better, we had some people say. If you have any uh, suggestions, put them in the comments, but it'd be easier to paint the whole background green and then we'll paint our elements on top for this guy. Then we're going to do uh, the jellyfish, which is really fun. And, and then we're going to have more than just the jellyfish. So this is on the 13th. And we're going to paint this live on Zoom. I painted mine on a piece of board. I just go to Home Depot, I pick out a six inch board and have them cut it right there at the store into 24 inch pieces. So if you wanna paint it on a board, it is kind of cool, but I've also given you the tracer to do it on canvases if you would like. In this, I gave you the traces, but to be honest, you don't really have to trace this one too much. We're gonna paint the whole background um, again. And if you wanna trace, it will be the white transfer paper you might wanna have handy. But if you just have a piece of chalk, these little blobby guys are super easy just to put on. These little tails were just squiggles. The bubbles. Now, the bubbles I will go over with you, but if you want to refresh on that, we do have a tutorial on transparent objects. And if you Google that, just search it, not Google, search it in our group in the topic section for uh, transparent elements, you'll get that tutorial. It's also listed on that uh, email that you got with all the paintings. I wanted to put that together so visually you could see what we've done for the last year and um, almost a half of paintings. They're easy to find in the folders searching but now you have that visual uh, paper and I will add to that as the months go by. So if you want to do it on a board super easy get that cut you can paint it on canvas. Now I'm going to do up some samples with jellyfish I mean uh, star oh starfish we could I was saying seahorses other sea creatures. I'm going to do a big octopus a long one on here and when I get those done and designed I will throw the traces out there. But that will be a fun night for us all just to kind of paint some sea creatures and then we can use what we learned to paint the bubbles. They're super simple technique. And they're in that tutorial if you want to just take a look at it before we go ahead and paint them that evening. And we have coming up as well because it's going to be strawberry season. Hi Rose, good morning. I'm kind of going over a little bit of what I showed you guys last night is the paintings coming up. Strawberry festival coming festivals coming up in strawberries. So it's a little still life. Um, I did it on the 12 by 12 inch square. It works well for the square, I thought. I'm going to also take some little of those little three or four inch square canvases and paint just maybe the, the two strawberries on one or maybe just the one strawberry on one. So if this looks overwhelming, just start with a strawberry. I'm going to show you step by step how to do your strawberry, base it in, shade it, give it some highlight, the little seeds kind of at the end of what make it. Um, the bowl is pretty easy technique. It's just a little shading. Again, you guys can change up the colors, please. Just whatever color background um, or, or bowl you'd like, polka dots or not. Um, it's just a little background that I've brushed with some colors. 
you could go completely different as well. But I thought it showed off the strawberries nicely with that lighter color background. So this would be a recording as well because that would be easier for something with a little more, something a little more intricate to, to kind of go step by step. Then at the end of the month, the Q&A will be um, a tutorial of sketching because I'm so excited. I know I've been talking about watercolor and sketching. So that's going to be on the 28th. We'll do that by Zoom. I've just recorded um, what I went over with the ladies last night who popped in of what we need for supplies. It's very simple. I'm downloading that video now and I'll post that so you can get some little bit of supplies together um, for that. So that's what we're doing. I'd love your feedback if it's something that you'd like to see. Um, I'm designing next month, so throw those ideas out at me. And that's it. So have a great day, you guys, and I will see you all soon. Okay, bye now.